In this Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import an OBJ mesh into Fusion 360 and then use Fusion 360's T spline and form workspace to convert the mesh into a T spline, then turn that T spline into a solid that we can use all the parametric modeling features in Fusion 360 on. First, click Insert, Insert Mesh. Navigate to where your OBJ file is, click Open. When you import it, remember you need to set the units. It defaults to millimeter, but I know I started this mesh in Blender, which is in meters. So I'm going to select meter. Then you can use flip up direction and often it'll be correct. Then click center and move to ground. Now I can press okay. If I orbit around in fusion, my mesh with the same information from Blender and instant meshes is here. Notice that this is a quad mesh. It's important to have a quad mesh to be able to use the T-spline tools. It can handle a few triangles and oddball shapes, but it works better with a quad mesh. Once you've imported your mesh, click Create Form. Then under Utilities, select Convert. Fusion 360 allows you to convert a quad mesh to T-splines. We want this body mesh to be used, and then we want to create a new body. Select OK. Now Fusion has converted this to a T-spline body. But there's a few more things we probably need to do before we're ready to make it into a B-Rep solid. If you click Finish Form, it will attempt to make it into a solid, but most likely there will be errors. Here you can see that there is a conversion error. So make sure you click Return, otherwise it won't make anything. It says use Modify Utilities Repair Body to remove the error. So let's do that. Click on Utilities, Repair Body. Before clicking on the body, make sure you make your weld tolerance a little bit closer. I like to click 0.5 millimeters. So this is half a millimeter tolerance for this large object. Select the body, then just simply click Auto Repair. Fusion will go through and make its best guess to repair any intersecting faces, unwelded vertices, and other problems. Once the Auto Repair is done, click OK. As you can see now, Everything looks nice and smooth, and it is a perfect T-spline. Now if I click Finish Form, it should create a solid for the solid workspace. As you can see, now this is a solid in Fusion 360. It is able to be used with any of the parametric modeling features, and we can make combinations of union, subtract, and intersect with it. So this will work really good for making molds and using for other processes. By cutting down the nearly 1 million initial polygons to a more manageable level, we still have quite a detailed mesh that is now a solid inside Fusion 360. Happy 3D modeling.